Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's video, I've got another partnership with the AutoCAD blog for a two minute Tuesday, Tuesday tip. Uh, today we're gonna be taking a look at a really cool feature within AutoCAD for working with text and changing it quickly, uh, the find and replace command. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't checked out my AutoCAD productivity webinar, uh, definitely check it out. It's an hour-packed webinar full of my best tips and tricks, stuff that I haven't even done on the channel before, uh, but I know you guys are going to really like it. Uh, you can get it in the link below, or I'll put a card up top. Uh, it's on sale. It's 20% off for Cat Intention viewers. Uh, I think you guys are going to really like it. Uh, so let's get started and jump into today's video. <laughs> So as I mentioned, today we're going to be taking a look at the find and replace command within AutoCAD. Similar to many word processors, AutoCAD has a lot of uh, tools built into it for dealing with text, one of which is the find and replace uh, tool or command, which you can find on the annotate tab of the ribbon up here. Uh, by switching over to it and going to this text box here, you can find or search for a particular word phrase uh, or even a few letters and use uh, wildcards to fill in the rest. Those are the asterisk symbol as you can see on there. In our example uh, and the one I use in the article which I'll link below which goes into detail with some of the options, uh, we're going to look for the word floor. Uh, so I'm going to just type in floor and hit enter. So this brings up our find and replace dialog box. Uh, and by hitting this little down chevron or down arrow, you can see some of these search options that are available to us. Uh, we can search based on uh, the word that we're looking for, but then we can also narrow down what it's searching through and with by using these options. You can use things like search through xrefs, search blocks, uh, or ignore hidden items. Uh, you can toggle on case match, so it has to match the upper or lower case that you've typed in. Uh, and then more importantly, maybe, is the find where drop down to the right here. You can choose whether you want to find within the current space or layout. In our case, that would be the model space that we're in. You could also use this as the current setting here, space or layout. If you're in a particular uh, layout or paper space and only want to search that space, or you can hit the down arrow here and change that to the entire drawing, or just a bunch of selected objects. Hitting this button here will allow you to select the objects that you'll be searching through. For our example, let's use the entire drawing as where to search. So that's going to include any paper space layouts as well. Again, you can play with these search options depending on what you're looking for. But the main use cases for this are going to be quickly swapping out, uh, say, a specific drawing number for another. So you would use the find what as your drawing number, say 101-01-112. Say you want to replace all the instances of that drawing number. Maybe it's a reference to a drawing that no longer exists or a detail number. You simply put in what you'd like to replace it with down below. So maybe it was 101-01-1113. And it's going to go through the drawing and replace each instance of that with the new one. Now in our case, with floor, we can find an instance of the floor text. You can hit find next again to go through them all. This allows you to cycle through all the instances. When you find one that you want to replace, you type in what you'd like to replace it with. So I'm going to change it to flooring, since this is going to say tile flooring, and you simply hit replace. And you can see down here that it was replaced and it moves us to the next one and we can do that one at a time or if we know we would like to replace all of the instances of floor with flooring you can simply hit the replace all button now this is going to go through the drawing and replace every version of floor as you can see with the word flooring and it's going to tell you here how many were changed as well as uh, how many matches were found if these equal, then it changed them all. Sometimes there will be things like if you've unchecked 
uh, xrefs like this one has, it's not going to search or find the xrefs. Uh, you could simply check that on and have it find them in xrefs. So now you can see it's found it in an xref as well. So let's do this once more uh, and we'll reverse the process. I can show you how you can find now any instance of flooring. We're going to use that as our search term and we're going to replace it with floor. So to start, we can just simply find our flooring by simply clicking the find next. It's going to cycle through them all. We can replace all by hitting replace all. And now it's going to ask if we would like to replace all of them in an xref because I had some words uh, where it were, was flooring within the xref and now we've turned on the search through xref. I'm going to say yes, replace and it's now popped up on my other screen here, but you can see there are 25 matches found and 25 objects changed. So again, you can use this to swap out drawing numbers, uh, specific wording. Um, maybe there's just a common spelling mistake that you're checking through um, and you want to replace them all or a tense uh, like plural and you want to make a singular or vice versa. Uh, the find and replace can be super useful and not a lot of people know about it. So now you've got another tool to add to your uh, daily CAD toolbox, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD productivity webinar. It's available now uh, and on sale for all of you guys, my viewers. Uh, hit the link below or up top, and thanks for watching. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos thanks again cheers